Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to talk about, finally, going to talk about the new velvet lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge and also I'm going to talk about her new lip glosses and the lip liner that she just launched and of course I'm gonna apply them all as you know or maybe you don't know applying lipsticks and talk about the color the texture and everything it's one of my favorite videos to do for those of you who don't know who Lisa Eldridge is she's a celebrity makeup artist she's a youtuber a creative director for Lancome, a woman that I have so much respect for. Two years ago, she first launched her True Velvet lipsticks that are absolutely out of this world. Like they're like nothing you've ever seen before. Unique product, honestly. And then last year she had new color releases and now this year she has uh, some new colors and also uh, like I said, glosses and lip liner. I'm not going to talk too much details about the packaging because uh, in every single one of my previous videos talking about the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, I was uh, giving you all these details. So I'm going to put a link in here with my first video so you get close-ups and everything. Um, now, I've received these uh, lipsticks from Lisa along with a very nice message. Thank you so much, Lisa, for this. All of the lip products that I'm going to talk about are available right now only on lisaeldridge.com. So it's only on her website. I have four of these lip glosses are 18 pounds. The lipstick is 26 pounds. And now there are these um, lip kits available in this beautiful pouch where you've got a true velvet lipstick, the lip gloss and a lip liner. You have all the details in my description box and also on Lisa Eldridge uh, website. This is just information that I think um, you guys should have if you're considering uh, getting these lipsticks. I personally collect them like I have a kit that I use and then I have a kit that I just have it in there just to have it. I want to tell you from the very beginning even though I love uh, Lisa and I love a lot of you know brands if there is a product that I don't like, I would say it respectfully, of course. So expect this review to be honest. Now let's get into the lip products. Okay, I'm going to start with the lip glosses. Apply them all and then we're going to move on with the lipsticks. Let's start with Muse. I like the big fat applicator. It feels very buttery, like rich, not sticky. It's like, it's like oil meets butter. That's the feeling on the lips. The color is just out of all, I can already tell without even trying the rest of them. I know that uh, Muse is going to be my favorite because it goes very well with, you know, my skin, my hair color and my eye. And I think a lot of you would look good with this particular color. It has just enough color, just enough pigment. I personally don't like um, lip glosses that are completely opaque and I love the glass shine like this shine that completely smooths the lip and make it look bigger and plumpier and juicier. Uh, this, this is the type of gloss that I prefer. So this is Muse. The next one is Beauty. Matches with the Velvet Beauty. You know what's so interesting about these lip glosses? So first, the applicator makes the application so much easier and it like sits in the right place. It's like, it doesn't seem like it's gonna move. Another beautiful color. It has that cooler pink tone to it that I am not a huge fan of for myself. Although like I'm looking in a monitor and it doesn't look bad. It's just that not, it's not my favorite, I prefer warmer colors but it's beautiful and if you have a velvet beauty uh, this is a great addition to that so this is beauty let's try 
go lightly. This lip gloss in the summer with a pinch of tan. Oh, I mean, it's already beautiful on my skin as it is, but I think that if you are like a medium skin tone, warm undertone, this is like your color. I honestly stretched it as much as I could because I personally don't like to feel my lipstick or my lip gloss or whatever I'm wearing. I don't like to feel it. I I tend to stay with the lips like this if I feel the lipsticks, like, like I cannot touch it together. I love makeup, but it has to be comfortable for me. So this is Go Lightly. Save the best for the last. I love reds. You guys know I love reds. And for me, Velvet Ribbon, that is among my favorite reds. So I'm very excited about this, but I actually wanted to uh, try it with the lip liner. It very much reminds me of the time when uh, my aunt used to send me, I think it was at the beginning of 90s, she would send me pencils. She was working for Art Deco. So I guess that's where my obsession and passion and love for, for pencils. So when I saw this, it just like immediately took me to, to those times. Very, very beautiful. I love that it has her signature right here. I also like the fact that she has the color at the back. It's just easier to see like when you put your pencils wherever you store them. If you store it like this, you get to see the color. Now let's take the lip gloss. I have to admit with this lip gloss, I've applied a little bit more just because I wanted to get that rich color. This is very sexy. It's like really beautiful, really, really beautiful combo. The lip liner is really spectacular it's so rich has so much pigment and it's very easy to um, apply it i like it that you know it's a classic lip liner the one that you can sharpen it so this is the combination between the ribbon lip liner and the ribbon lip gloss now let's try the lipsticks and I've got Velvet Affair, Velvet Dragon, Velvet Carnival and Velvet Blush. I'm going to start with the Velvet Carnival. Every time I open one of these lipsticks, I am just being amazed. These are spectacular. I've never seen anything like it. Wow, wow, wow. Ladies, Carnival is here. You know what I mean? Such a strong color full of personality. It's like a Barbie pink. Most like neon color out of everything that I've tried from Lisa Eldridge. It makes a statement look for sure. So this is a Velvet Carnival. Next is a Velvet Blush. I've realized I made a mistake with the first lipstick and didn't give you guys the whole details because in my head, I think that everybody knows about these lipsticks. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about the finish. It's the type of lipstick that you do like one swipe and there you have the exact color that you see in the bullet. Literally one swipe, that's enough. It's very matte. There is not even one single slight of like shine in uh, the finish, completely matte. 
but very comfortable. We're not talking about the same matte formula as the liquid lipsticks. They might look the same, but the formula is completely different. It does not feel drying on the lips. It's very long wearing, but it's not transfer proof. Okay, ladies, so this is a velvet blush. Now let's move on with a velvet affair. This is what it looks like. This one right here is a velvet blush and this one right here, it's a velvet affair. This is just a pinch darker than my, my dress. It's very beautiful colors so far. I love them all. <laughs> velvet blush and velvet affair. They're like my favorite. This is velvet affair. Last but not least, velvet dragon. How I describe this color. It's like a beautiful brick, orange brick. Okay. This is my favorite. Out of all the colors, I don't know what it is about this one, but it's just so special. It's like a red, but it's not red. It's like an orange, super bright. I love it. So this was the last lipstick in Velvet Dragon. Okay, ladies, and this is it. I know that I've been a little bit late to the party because uh, these lipsticks started to be available on October 3rd and probably a lot of you already purchased these lipsticks but I'm glad that uh, I had the chance to show you all. Let me know in the comments if you've already purchased these, what colors did you get, what's your favorite color on yourself, on me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! So sexy. Babe, what do you think? But would you kiss me with this? What? No? On the cheeks. Understandable. <laughs>